Happy Tuesday, my fellow Y members. Doug Walker behind the camera, in front of the camera. Jacqueline White, our health and wellness director. And since it is Tuesday, that means we are demonstrating another brand new piece of Matrix fitness equipment that is coming to the Y in the last couple of months. So, Jacqueline, what do we got today and what does this thing do? So we're hitting the upper body today. This is our Matrix lateral raise. Uh, I love this machine. Um, you know, really the other alternative to this uh, dumbbell wise or free weight uh, wise um, is to just do a like dumbbell lateral raise. You know, depending on when you're in here, it can be a little busy over there. So this is a great alternative to hit those lateral delts, so the, the outer part of the shoulder um, to get that. And you don't have to worry about, you know, dumbbells, it's a great addition. Um, you can also do kind of one arm at a time, which is one of those great features that I love about this matrix equipment. Um, always want to look at the placard. That's kind of where your um, introduction to the machine kind of begins. So really the only thing you need to pay attention to is that seat height. So according to the placard, the seat height, so you would adjust it right here. All right, and there's all kinds of numbers on the side. So once you kind of find your number, uh, you'll know where you need to be. So how high does it need to be? You want that seat height to be so that when you sit down, your shoulders are at these little kind of yellow orange pivot points. So some people think it's just kind of for looks. There's actually a, a purpose to those little pivot points there. So I'm gonna just kind of hop in and see. I'm about where I need to be. Right there, it looks good. So you're kind of tight in here. It's meant to be like that. And you're gonna have really your elbows right on these pads. And then you're going to grab these little grips here. So these swivel. So if you've got longer, you know, arms, you can be out here, but you just want it to be comfortable. So you want the chest to stay on the pad. I see some people and they'll be out here. You want that chest to stay nice and snug on the pad. Should be in about 90 degree um, angles with your arms. And then you're going to raise up. We're not going to do 80 pounds though. How about that, Doug? We're going to go a little lighter. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Do so, 80. There we go. So, and you should be right about there. And then again, we always talk about this control. You never want to slam it down. The key too is to stop uh, so that it's kind of flat right there. No need to go way up here. There's no benefit to the shoulders to go up that high. Right about parallel and then back down. So the other thing I see, if people go up too high, they tend to do this. They tend to get their shoulders up in their ears and that's not good. So we want to keep the shoulders down while you're doing that whole movement. We want to stay away from that. Keep the shoulders down and just go up to about shoulder height and back down. So, so that's going to hit. For people who actually go beyond that point, that could cause some issues as yep. far as injury or muscle pulls, could it not? Yep, and a lot of people, you know, especially women, we don't want big muscles here. That trap muscle, we don't want those, you know, big traps here. And you can either cause injury or really you're just kind of causing everything to go out of alignment um, and you're not using the right muscles, right? You're letting the traps take over. We don't want to do that. We want to hit the lateral delt. So in order to hit that delt and focus on it, we need to keep those shoulders relaxed when we come up. Okay, so it's kind of a learned thing. I used to do that years and years ago and I had to kind of teach myself to keep the shoulders down and relaxed and then let the lateral delt do the work. Does this machine also work on the back muscles at all? Uh, no, so this is really just uh, solely that lateral delt. That's why they call it a lateral raise. So you can see here what it's highlighting. So on our shoulder muscle, there's really three main muscles. There's a, a front, a, a lateral, and a delt. So an anterior, lateral, posterior. Um, this hits that lateral part. So the outer part of the shoulder it really kind of adds that shape to the shoulders. That's what this is going to hit. And so obviously you use these muscles in everyday life for something. Give me an example of how this helps you in everyday life. Oh, I always like to say, you know, carrying in groceries or carrying things out away from your body, um, lifting up a bag or, you know, there's all kinds of things in a daily life um, that you would use those for. So anytime you would need to lift your arm out away from your body, this is gonna come in handy. 
Hi, Jacqueline White, our Health and Wellness Director. Thank you very much for joining us again. Again, this is the lateral raise, and she's demonstrated how to use it and how it can benefit you. We have a lot of other equipment in our gym that we've taken possession of in the last few months. And every Tuesday, we come back and show you another piece. So join us again next Tuesday. Jacqueline will join us as well, and we'll show you how to use another piece of equipment to your benefit. Until then, thanks for joining us. And thank you so much for watching. <laughs>